O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Miracles happen when you forgive. You are born with the capacity to forgive, but you learn the opposite behavior. You learn not to forgive. You practice not to forgive, and you master not to forgive. When you learn to let go of your pride and ask for forgiveness, miracles start to happen in your life. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 11, NASDAQ up 8, S&P's flat, gold contract down $4.40, traded at 1349 an ounce. Silver, down 26 cents at $19.87 an ounce. Platinum, off 9 bucks at 1089 an ounce. Copper, flat at 209 a pound. Light sweet crude, up 60 cents, trading at $45.43 a barrel. Notes, notes are flat at 131.12. Bonds are up 6 ticks, 170.27. Both the 10-year note and the 30-year bond failed on price, failed on volume. What they were doing is this, folks. They were going into the top of a very small consolidation, not even the high of the consolidation. There's a couple little consolidations in there. Went to the highs of them, couldn't handle the price, had lighter volume. That's after busting lower last week. What that is saying is that now the notes and the bonds are going to make a run downtown, see if they can bust out the bottom of the consolidation once again. If that's what you have, and we have volume, and if we have volume behind the move, you're going to have an ABC structure on the way down, small one, but that's going to be the first ABC structure down in the notes and bonds in quite some time. And what does that set up? That sets up King Dollar. King Dollar, up 147 ticks today, $94.97. Now, what we had with King Dollar is this. King Dollar had wide price spread yesterday. It was down over 1,000 ticks. Didn't have the volume. Today, you get to a lower low. Light volume, rejected lower price. That's saying King Dollar wants what? Wants higher price. Euro. Euro is trading at $1.12, and the yen is at 101.76. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay. We traded to a price point of uh, $119.22. We closed out at $119.01, um, or $200, rather, $219.22. Um, and it looks to me that this thing is going to try to get to a higher high tomorrow. Um, you know, what you had with the SPY is this. So the, the high in the SPY is $219.60. We made it to $219.22 today. The low of the high is 218.90. So you made it into the low. That's saying the high is going to get tested, which is the 219.90. NDX 100, the three Qs. Three Qs are up seven cents, $117.92. The high that it was going after, which it hit, was $118. Um, we hit 118.12. Bottom line, now on, on price, the Qs failed. On volume, you had higher than the last high, that's also saying that, guess what, the high of today inside the NDX 100 more than likely is going to get tested. I suspect that's going to be tomorrow. Gold contract, what do we have with gold? Gold got over its high of yesterday, closed under it. This is after, you know, gold had a really nice move yesterday, it had wide price spread, had volume behind the move. Uh, so this is going to be intriguing to watch this, uh, the actual metal shake out, and this is why. When you get two days like we did in gold, the bottom line is that there was no reason you didn't get a third one today. And what we haven't done is that you haven't got to a swing point. You know, if you have my book, The Out of Time in the Trade, you know that swing points are where markets talk, walk, and squawk. When you're inside a correction and you don't get to a swing point, it's a problem. You know, it's, and what we have now is that you actually got over that high, you closed underneath it, so we're going to know that ASAP, whether uh, that problem is going to develop into a downdraft once again, 
and to the lows. You wouldn't have an ABC down because we had nice volume on yesterday and Friday. Uh, but you, you would go back into the swing lows that were established out here on the 29th of August. Silver contract. Same setup in silver. We had with silver is this. You had the wide price spread yesterday. You had the accelerated volume. Also didn't take out a swing point. What happened today? You got to a higher high. You have light volume. And see, so the theory, folks, is that when you get to a higher high, particularly coming off a low like this, you should have more buyers. You should have more buyers. All what you also should have, you should have shots that are going to be closing positions because it's pushing. That's what the market was looking for in both cases out here today. Gold market, silver market. You push it up over the highs. What the operator is looking for is that do we have more buyers over the highs and do we have buyers to close shots? In both cases, what do we have? You have sellers. The sellers overwhelm the buyers. We go over to the 10-year note, and this is what we have. Uh, the 10-year note is basically screaming that it can't handle higher price right now. Uh, the 10-year note got up to a price point today of 131.18. The swing point it was tested was 131.14. You closed. One second. Two. You closed at 131.12. We had 837,000 contracts versus, I think it's 1.5 million. 1.5 million. So that setup is that now it's going to go to try to bust out the bottom once again. And what we do have at 130.12 is high volume. So I suspect what you're going to probably see is a small ABC structure on the way down. We take a look at the 30-year bond, what you're going to see the 30-year, same type of setup. 30-year, got over those highs today. The highs that we're talking about in the 30-year was 171.20. You got to 171.16. Well, it missed it by four ticks there. You closed at 170.27. You did 173,000 contracts. That in correlation with 201,000. If we take a look at the TLT, now the TLT is the 20 plus bond fund. What you're going to see there is that the same benchmark, that number was $140.69. That made it to $140.42. Only had volume of 5.2 million, gave it up. That's saying that wants to go south. And what's the culprit? The culprit, folks, here you go. The culprit is good old King Dollar. It's going to be King Dollar moving higher once again that the market is going to take conniptions on. The market had every right to go topside yesterday, big time. Dollar's down over a thousand bucks. Guess what? Can't handle it. Lower low today in the dollar, light volume, rejects low, wants higher price. Stay right there, folks. Coming right back. <laughs> 